Hey guys, it's Miss Cassidy again. So we're done reading the story, Thank You Ma'am, by Lanson Hughes. And now it's time to check your understanding. Remember that once you're done with the reading part as well, to click, sorry, this check button at the top. The same thing goes for check your understanding and analyze the text. Once you're done, always hit this button so you can send in your assignment. Check your understanding. Question one, how does the author's use of setting advance the plot of the story? Is it A, it causes the characters to be embarrassed, B, it allows the characters to witness an unusual event, C, it offers the characters a chance to learn about each author, and D, it provides a solution to the character's problem. Once you've made a decision on what you believe is the correct answer, you hit the check button and see if you got it correct. Question number two, in paragraph 39, Roger wants to go to the store for Mrs. Jones in order to F, get sweet milk to drink with dinner, G, take the money for the milk and run away, H, show Mrs. Jones he is trustworthy, or J, buy, buy the blue suede shoes he wants. Once you have an answer, make sure to put a check and see if you're right. And finally, question three. Based on the details in paragraph 35 to 37, the reader can conclude that Mrs. Jones most likely A, thinks that hunger has driven Roger to snatch her purse, B, expects Roger to try to steal things from other people, C, regrets things she has done in the past to get what she wanted, or D, knows that Roger's parents are looking for him in the neighborhood. Once you've made a choice, Really analyze it. Go back if you need to, guys. That's not a problem. And then check to see if you got it right. And once you're done, make sure to hit the complete button here. Now, the next part we're going to focus on is analyzing the text. This is, again, once you're done reading the story, you come to these two assigned exercises that you have to do. Give it a second. It'll load. Analyze the text. Question one, we're going to infer. What details does the author provide to show the relationship between how Roger behaves with Mrs. Jones and how he deals with eternal conflict? Remember that external would be what happens between the two of them that's visible to everyone. Internal would be probably what he's thinking or how he's feeling, but he's not showing it. So again, infer what details does the author provide to show the relationship between how Roger behaves with Mrs. Jones and how he deals with his internal conflict. Once you have an answer, type it up and move on to question number two. Remember, capitalizing and punctuation is very important. Analyze the text in question number two, interpret. We're going to be interpreting the information. What does the setting of the story tell you about Mrs. Jones' life? Cite details from the text that supports your answer. We've done this before. You have to cite evidence directly from the text once you have an answer to support your answer and demonstrate that there are facts behind your answer. Once you have that answer, Start typing and then move on to question number three. Question number three and analyze the text. Draw conclusions. Reread the descriptions the author provides of Mrs. Jones and Roger in paragraphs one and 22. Not one to 22. You're only going to look at paragraph one and then you're going to look at paragraph 22. So look for those descriptions of Mrs. Jones and Roger. Explain why Roger isn't able to break free from Mrs. Jones. Once you have that answer, start typing it up. Again, remember that capitalizing and punctuation, which are periods, commas, exclamation marks, question marks, semicolons, colons, all of those are important when you are writing. And once you're done, move on to question four. Question four, predict. How is Roger's external conflict resolved and why might Mrs. Jones' involvement in the resolution affect Roger's actions in the future? So basically this question is asking you how did he resolve the issue of wanting to steal Mrs. Jones' pocketbook and wanting to get the money for the blue suede shoes? 
And because of what Mrs. Jones did, how she was involved, how could it change the result or ending based on what would happen to Roger in the future? Did she make some change in his life? How did she do that? Once you have that answer, type it out, take your time, analyze, and then move on to question number five. Analyze the text question number five. Notice and note, review paragraph 42. What role do Mrs. Jones's memories of her beauty shop job play in making Roger feel more comfortable? They're basically asking you is, how does how is it when she recalls her job at the beauty shop? How does it make him feel more comfortable? The fact that she's talking about that. Look at that paragraph again, paragraph 42, and then analyze and come up with an answer. Once you have it, type it out here. Now, if you go to the bottom, you're seeing a research assignment. Investigate Harlem, an area of New York City that became a vibrant African-American community in the early 1900s. Find out why people moved to Harlem and how its social and cultural environment nurtured writers and artists. Note what you learn in the chart below. There's also a research tip for you guys here because you know sometimes when you try to research something it's way too expansive and you can't finish ever. Research terms can be specific but also general. Along with a topic such as Harlem, you will want to include a description of the dates that you're interested in learning about. For example, you might include early 1900s in your initial search to make sure you get listings for websites that have the information you seek. So you guys would put early 1900s Harlem or Harlem in the early 1900s. So here are some research topics that you could look for. Reasons people moved to Harlem, the social organizations that helped create the community of Harlem, and the cultural organizations that supported the artists. You guys can do it in this chart here, or if you guys want to do a Google slide presentation, Prezi presentation, or just a Word document, I'm fine with that. Once you guys are done, make sure to click the little check here so you can send in your work to me. All right, guys. Well, that's it for me this week. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful. Stay safe. See you next time. Bye.